Welcome back everyone, Nick and Lex here. Thank you so much for joining me today to this new episode of Music with Nick. Oh my God, I got some amazing news today. We're gonna do finally some, I, I don't know why I've never done this, um, because I do know this band uh, from name, you know. Um, when I was uh, getting into Porcupine Tree and Steven Wilson, I did a little bit of research and I did see that they had, um, that Steven Wilson had worked with this band before. And uh, I even uh, had some, I think it was Alexia's cousin, may he rest in peace, um, uh, that uh, burned us like an, an entire CD full of music and it was full of Yes and Rush and Emerson, Lake and Palmer and Porcupine Tree and No Man. The, the thing was that we never really got into this whole music because of time, just the I don't know, just because we don't, we don't really know. Uh, we're still like, because I remember when we started dating, Alexia and I, we were both into Porcupine Tree and I got her into uh, the album with the hand, the incident, I think. And because this one song, Time Flies, is very, very reminiscent of dogs and sheep. It's kind of like a mixture of, of, of both songs. So we're kind of like obsessed with that song, but we never really got into older porcupine tree after that and then also they stopped for the, the longest time uh, i think they took a like a 10 year hiatus and then they came out with the new porcupine tree but today we're gonna listen to some no man and i'm sure uh i can you know um do some no man reactions with alexia later but yeah i'm super excited today um uh, we're gonna get into no man and uh, i wanted to thank vmax for Thank you so much for sponsoring this. And I wanted also to read the text that he provided us with. So here we go. Um, so it says, Hi, Nick and Lex, a VMAX 4 here with another epic pick for you. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Steven Wilson's first music project was in Porcupine Tree. It was No Man in 1987, a, collab a collaboration with vocalist, lyricist Tim Bowness. A very eclectic musical library is No Man. From dance to prog and pop and psychedelia, they are, all, uh, they are well worth diving into. Uh, my pick is my favorite song of theirs from Flower Mouth album 1999, the opening track called Angel Gets Caught in the Beauty Trap, which comes in at around 10 minutes and 34 seconds, so quite epic. Exactly, thank you. Uh, quite simply, the most beautiful songs you've never heard is how it described by one music critic. Wow, okay. If you like this, then check out their 2007 masterwork, Together We're a Stranger, as an album pick, uh, of which Mojo Magazine's Johnny Black said, in all fairness, it should point. Uh, I should point out that this is not an album for the faint-hearted. If you like your music, uh, cherry, cherry and up tempo. I don't want it getting down deep down inside you and ripping your heart to shreds. Steer uh, well clear of no man. If, however, you want to turn out uh, the lights and be taken on an ethereal voyage along the hidden pathways of your inner, uh, of your of your own inner space, this is definitely for you. Wow. Regards. Thank you, VMAX. Well, you know, I'm not of the faint of heart. I, I mean, I just witnessed yesterday um, beat. Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, uh, I w we were literally transported into a different galaxy yesterday. I mean, we have a 78-year-old Tony Levin who looks like he's 40 playing the stick like on steroids, you know, and the bass, of course. Um, Adrian Ballou doing all sorts of like magic on the guitar and then we have steve Vai literally in the background no light shining over him and then he just bursts out with the most crazy solo i've ever heard of him um and then we have danny carey i mean just like driving this force i mean yesterday was just nuts we're gonna we're gonna go uh i'm sure we're gonna make a video about it because alexia wants to talk about it as well but i mean i had to buy a shirt i have all the names on the back it was just insane um 
Danny Carey's Tony Levin, which I know of Liquid Tension, Steve Vai, of course, Adrian Below through the channel here of King Crimson fame and, and Frank Zappa. Insane. So definitely I'm not uh, of the faint of heart, but thank you so much for the introduction. Let's get into it. No man flower mouth here. Angel gets caught in the beauty trap and like yeah what a wonderful year it says here 1994 they could be wrong i they <laughs> always get stuff wrong um so uh yeah without further ado thank you so much vmax uh for this for this uh for sponsoring this video give me just one second here i want to do something there we go um, uh, so, um, yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Thank you so much. If you're, if this is the first time you are checking out this progressive band, um, uh, then welcome to the channel. Please do subscribe if you can. It's still, it's, it's crazy out of all the 111,000 subscribers, um, um, that are subscribed of the total people that listen to the channel only, only 19 percent of all people that listen to our channel are subscribed so more than 80 percent of, of people that listen to this on a regular basis are not subscribed so please do us a favor subscribe to the channel we really want to see the real numbers of people that actually like the channel for what it is so go and, and uh, go and click that white button or the uh, sometimes it's black sometimes it's red please subscribe it's free and you really help us out because the channel gets pushed out more the more subscribers we have and that way we get more views even though we're not really making money um for the views but it does help in a way it does help so if you can leave a comment like the video dislike the video whatever you feel like but please you know if you really like the channel subscribe so here we go with this epic tune of the angel gets caught in the beauty trap thank you so much here we go Wow. Beautiful. if it's a sequencer.
your arms stretching out Wow
Wow, <laughs> so good. Okay, um, yeah, this is the stuff that inspires me to record, and I use this kind of like so. This um, it's sometimes it's called a sequencer, sometimes it's an arpeggiator. There's all sorts of things that just kind of like loop, you know, different notes, and you kind of like accelerate the. Uh, the uh the time the time signature and then becomes into this beautiful dreamlike you know uh voyage you can take and then i mean all the chords layered on top of this and i had no idea so so this is stephen wilson it says instruments and then it says tim bowness on vocals and words so they are you know the directors of this but we have this is amazing because i'm wearing the right shirt i mean this of course was all king crimson now at the end of the show they did play two um frip um uh tunes which were i think my favorites i don't know there's some something about robert fripp that's dark and has this really edgy like something about it and it's a it's a shame that we can't do robert fripp uh, or king crimson on the channel because he takes it down unfortunately even though he watches um reaction videos so if you watch this robert come on give us you know uh let us react to your music you're making the money you know uh we're not getting any of this uh it's basically free advertising so please if you see this um so Robert Fripp is on this track, um, amazing, and he's using what it's called uh, Frippertronics, uh, Frippertronics, which is, I guess, some sort of looper. The whole sequencer part here, which was beautiful. I think it carried the whole thing. Uh, but I mean, the chords on top of that, and then Mel Collins on the soprano sax. Um, we have. Uh, Ian Carr on the trumpet. Those instruments here were so important. They gave it such a beautiful, like, you know, it just opened up the, the whole, like, as a canvas, you know, like the song just gets better and better. I love the voice. I love the vocals. I mean, I couldn't really focus. There was so much going on. But when it when the sequences started, it reminded me immediately what I was listening yesterday to um to King Crimson, you know. Even though at that time, uh, he was not in the band, I mean Robert Fripp, but it's the style, you know. Uh, we have on this album, Mel, uh, we have Lisa Gerard from De Dead Can Dance, Steve Jansen, um, Chris Maitland on drums here, wonderful, Fretless Bass, Silas Maitland. Um, wow, what a track. I mean, this just like, it is literally the way it was described. It takes you on a journey. Like, I was like... Wow, I was just like, yeah, I was like, I didn't even know what to think because there's so much happening. You don't really focus on the time signature anymore on the chords. It's just, it consumes your mind and it's just absolute beauty. I can't believe this. Uh, this was wonderful. And I'm. this is surely something Alexia is going to love uh, to listen to. And I'm, I'm, I'm shocked that it almost has no place at all it's just you know with music like this it is you don't unfortunately you don't capture large audiences because it is not very easy to 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 focus and to get into nobody can sing along people like that four four you know uh time signature where they can tap their feet to and sing along this is a voyage this is like pink floyd this is you know this takes you on a journey and then eventually you come back you know like uh i was just like <sighs> like i was blown away i had something that i could hang on to that which were the musicians and i was like oh, well that's why it's so good of course stephen wilson is a genius i consider robert fripp an absolute genius you know and it's uh that's why it's such a shame that we're not allowed to react to his music you know it's like and it's his it's him you know, it's not even the record company. It's him. He takes down videos. And why do that? Why not, like, let your music breathe? Let it get out there. I mean, I'm sure you've made enough money. Uh, and you will make, you will continue making money with YouTube because it's going to go to your record company that you, at the end of the month, can, you, you know, the end of the month goes into your, um, into your <laughs> bank account. So, 
like I don't know what's what it is with reaction videos um or just stuff being on YouTube or Google or the internet, you know, um you're at the end of the day you're the one who makes the money. We're just we're getting followers and when we post original content like my guitar playing or something, that is actually what when I get, you know, uh a cut uh, because YouTube also takes, I don't know, 30%. But well, this was just a absolute beauty. I mean, I can't, <laughs> I can't believe what I just heard. Wonderful. Um, King Crimson. It's really something I want to like, I would love to like dive into, but I mean, having this channel, there's so much other stuff that, 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 that I do have permission to do. So I'm going to do that, of course. But we have all the King Crimson records already bought and paid for. So, like, I think if that's not enough to... I know, I, I get it, you know. Copyrighted stuff is always a, a little bit of a, you know. It's because it's massively... I'm giving, supposedly, I'm giving the music away for free massively. But, I mean, every view, you know, ka into whoever the artist that whoever it belongs to now i don't want to talk too much about copyrights this was just beautiful no man what did you think let me know um about this i mean there's a whole there's let's see there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen i mean there's almost i think 20 albums uh that we could dive our heads into that that's insane i love it i'm super super happy that i finally made the jump because i've known about this band i just didn't know what i was going to get into i've heard some very early porcupine tree it's very different before he got into the metal kind of stuff, which is beautiful. Um, and also Steven Wilson as a solo artist. I mean, he plays with the best, you know, and he's just a genius. And he is basically carrying the torch of what King Crimson and Pink Floyd and Yes and Genesis was into, uh, you know, the modern day. He's like literally the, the last one. And of course, there's bands, there's other bands, you know, Dream Theater, but but this kind of prog, this this prog that takes you in a different, you know, in a into a different universe, you know, that's I think where where Stephen Wilson is at the forefront because there's some beautiful progressive metal which I love, Symphony X, and 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 there's just so much good stuff. But this, when it comes to psychedelic and dreamlike music, I think uh, Stephen Wilson you know, is at the helm of that right now. So, man, let me know what you think. This was wonderful. Thank you so much, VMAX, for, for exposing me to this beautiful, you know, uh, to this beautiful music. I can't wait to share it with Alexia. She's, I'm sure she's going to love it. Um, this is right up our alley. And this is also right up the... I'm doing something very similar. I'm, I can't say I'm a progressive mastermind, but uh, when I write music, it's always very... Uh, it, it's always a scenery. It's not like rock music. It's always like I'm very inspired by Vangelis and stuff like that, you know, and um, it's it always sounds like a soundtrack. Hans Zimmer, John Williams, you know, that's the way I write. Yes, I'm a guitar player, but the way I write music is very. It, it, it's more like a score and I eventually I'll release something. I have so much. I, I'm just very picky and I don't know. I, uh, I'm i just very, I don't know how I feel about releasing my music. I'm just, I just want it to be perfect, you know. Again, thank you so much. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think. Uh, write in the comment section below if you like this. And yeah, like I said, like, subscribe. Thank you so much. I'll see you all in the next one.